In the heart of the Caribbean, hidden beneath the sunlit waves of Lighthouse Reef Atoll, lies a mysterious abyss that has intrigued explorers, divers, and scientists for decades. The Great Blue Hole, an almost perfectly circular sinkhole in the ocean floor, is one of the most breathtaking natural formations on Earth. From above, it appears as a deep blue void, sharply contrasting against the surrounding shallow turquoise waters. But beyond its striking appearance, this underwater chasm holds something far more astonishing, an untouched record of Earth's climatic history, preserved in its depths for thousands of years. Imagine yourself as a diver, descending into this seemingly endless blue pit. The light from the surface fades rapidly, swallowed by the darkness below. The water becomes cooler as you go deeper, and suddenly, ghostly stalactites and ancient rock formations come into view. These structures are not supposed to exist underwater. They are remnants of a time when this sinkhole was not submerged at all, but rather stood as a massive cave above sea level. Long before it became an iconic dive site, the Great Blue Hole was part of an intricate system of limestone caves, formed over millennia by the slow, patient work of rainwater seeping through rock. During the last ice age, when sea levels were significantly lower than today, these caves remained dry, sheltering early forms of life and accumulating geological history in their rock walls. But as the planet warmed, the glaciers melted and sea levels began to rise dramatically. The caves, once safe and dry, were slowly swallowed by the encroaching ocean. Eventually, the ceilings of these vast underground chambers collapsed, leaving behind the massive circular void that today is known as the Great Blue Hole. But what makes this place truly remarkable is not just how it formed, but what has been happening inside it ever since. For over 20,000 years, sediments have been silently accumulating at the bottom of this vast underwater pit. These layers of silt, sand and organic material are more than just debris carried by the ocean currents. They are nature's way of keeping a record. Just like the rings of a tree or the layers of ice in a glacier, these sediments contain an uninterrupted timeline of environmental changes, chronicling storms, climate shifts and catastrophic events that have shaped the region over millennia. In the summer of 2022, a team of scientists from Goethe University Frankfurt embarked on an extraordinary expedition to unlock the secrets hidden within these layers. Using a specially designed drilling platform, they navigated to the heart of the Great Blue Hole and carefully extracted a sediment core, a long cylindrical sample that stretched 30 meters deep. This was not just mud and sand, it was a direct link to the past, an ancient archive of Earth's climate stretching back nearly 6,000 years. When the researchers analyzed the sample, they uncovered something alarming. Layer by layer, the sediments revealed a disturbing pattern. Over the past 5,700 years, the frequency of hurricanes and tropical storms in this part of the Caribbean had been steadily increasing. The evidence was clear. Distinct bands of coarse material known as tempestites were embedded within the otherwise fine-grained layers. These tempestites were the unmistakable signatures of violent storms, deposited when powerful hurricanes stirred the ocean, sending surges of sand and debris tumbling into the abyss. By carefully dating these layers, the scientists were able to construct a detailed timeline of storm activity, and what they found was deeply concerning. In the last century alone, the number of storms in the southwestern Caribbean had surged far beyond historical averages. Normally, this region experiences between 4 and 16 major storms per century, but in just the past 20 years, 9 significant storms have already been recorded. If this trend continues, the scientists predict that by the end of this century, at least 45 major hurricanes could pass over this region, far exceeding anything seen in the past several thousand years. The culprit behind this increase is no mystery. The data strongly suggests that human-driven climate change is fueling the intensification of storms in the region. Rising ocean temperatures provide more energy for hurricanes to form and grow stronger, while shifts in global weather patterns, such as the southward movement of the intertropical convergence zone, are altering the paths these storms take. What was once a natural cycle of climate variability now appears to be an accelerating crisis, with each passing decade bringing more frequent and powerful hurricanes. Professor Eberhard Gischler, head of the Biosedimentology Research Group at Goethe University Frankfurt, emphasized the importance of these findings. The Great Blue Hole, he explained, is more than just a geological wonder, it is a silent witness to the past, recording the history of our planet in its depths. But now, that history is sending a clear warning, 
the storms of the future will be stronger and more relentless than those of the past. The implications of this discovery extend far beyond the Caribbean. As climate change accelerates, other regions around the world are likely to experience similar increases in extreme weather events. Coastal communities, already vulnerable to rising sea levels and storm surges, could face unprecedented destruction. The findings from the Great Blue Hole serve as yet another urgent reminder that climate change is not a distant threat. It is happening now, and its effects are being etched into the very fabric of our planet. Despite its breathtaking beauty, the Great Blue Hole is no longer just a destination for divers and explorers, it is now a key piece of evidence in the growing case for immediate action against climate change. It tells a story of a world in transition, a planet that has undergone immense change before, and one that is on the brink of even greater transformations. The question is, will we listen to the warnings hidden beneath the waves, or will we wait until it is too late?